there welcome to today's video uh, my name is Cosmina if you're new here I'm a lover of makeup and fashion and I'm gonna try to incorporate a little bit of fashion on this channel as well so if you're interested in that please consider subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so in today's video we are going to try a new brand for me personally I I have seen this brand around, but I've never tried anything from it. And this brand is Kiko Milano. So I grabbed a few beautiful things from their Dolce Vita collection. And we're going to try them today and see how they perform. If they are a brand that we should look more into. And... Uh, See how cute these things are going to look on my face. So a couple of weeks ago, I was scrolling down through Instagram and on Trendless page, I saw the post about this collection from Kiko Milano and I was really interested to see uh, how are they going to look like because honestly, I was so surprised by the packaging. I could not... I just could not believe how beautiful the packaging was. That's what just like kind of sucked me in. I was like, I need to grab this. This is too beautiful. I need to see how this is going to perform. So what I did, I grabbed this Kiko Milano Dolce Bake Bronzer, which is humongous. I was not expecting it to be this big. And this one, it is... $20 for one and they have it in uh, three shades. I got mine in Perfect Sienna and wow it is huge. It's huge but it's so beautiful. I mean the packaging it's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous for the price. Just look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Just imagine this on your vanity every day. Don't you want to just just play with it like the color and and that what is it like a chevron type of look it's just absolutely beautiful and those k's right there in the center just such a beautiful touch i absolutely love the packaging on this one but the beautiful thing is inside as well so look at that marble effect isn't that just gorgeous oh so beautiful i was like oh my god how did they manage to do that because it looks incredible incredible so i'm gonna try it right now with you and see how it goes it does have a really a sweet scent but not powerful it's just like very very minimal but it does have like a, a kind of like a maybe chocolate as well with a little bit of vanilla that's how it, I, it smells to me so let's grab it and see how this is gonna go I do have a foundation and just powder on oh look at that wow that is just a gorgeous color and I really love how it goes on the skin as well. Just super pretty. So how are you guys doing? Are you guys interested to see some fashion on this channel? On top of uh, makeup? Let me know down below. Yes, I do love how this looks like. And this is only $20. This is how big of a pan this is. This is like almost half of my head, honestly. Um, and the, the it says it has 20 grams. You don't you don't need to buy another bronzer all your entire life. Seriously. I don't know how long this is gonna take for somebody to pan. I think this will be a little bit insane to try to pan this, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And I think, wow, just look at that. Oh, so, so, so pretty. So pretty. Like the color, it gives me summer vibes. It gives me like, it's such a color, beautiful color, but also kind of melts into your skin and just kind of 
combines beautifully with your skin tone. Super pretty. Gorgeous. Now before we move on to the eyes, I'm going to go really quick off camera to add just a quick blush and then we can move on. Okay, so for the blush, I went with Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic in Ecstasy. And then now we are ready to go for the eyes. And this little eyeshadow palette, they had two eyeshadow palettes for sale. And this one was a really good price. I know I only paid like 30 something dollars for both items. So this one was $16 and there were two of them and they were $16 each. They had a bunch of uh, trios and they had some highlighters as well. They had some brow products, but I was not interested in that. The only thing that I was really interested in, it was that bronzer and this beautiful eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, you have to see how beautiful the packaging looks on this one. So this one is in uh, Stylish Coral 01. Like even the outside packaging looks absolutely beautiful, but the outside, like look at this. That, look at that, that is just gorgeous. It looks like a luxury, a luxury little, little purse or maybe like a mm, card holder thingy, right? That's how it looks like, but it's super beautiful. And the colors are really, really nice in there. So, so pretty. And um, I have played with them and I do like how they are. So let's see what I'm gonna create tonight. It's definitely you cannot create a lot of looks with these ones, but I mean, I knew from the beginning that I'm not going to. Uh, so let's start with this brown. And I'm gonna add this on the outer corner corner and a little bit in my crease and just a tiny bit on the outside these are very nice to blend I have played with them because I tried to record this video once before but unfortunately um, the video wasn't great because there were a bunch of uh, things in there that went wrong so I decided to scrap that and go at it again. Mm. Look at that color. Isn't that so pretty? I love, 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 love that. So right now I am doing my finals. Um, this is my last week and I have a lot of things to do. I am a little bit busier than uh, usual and it is a little bit exhausting. So if you're going to see me with a little bit less energy, no, that's the reason why. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how that looks. And then I'm going to go with this pink shade. And then I'm going to add this right in here. Mm, should I grab a different brush? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go with this one right here. This is from KKW, I believe. Yeah. I'm going to grab this one. That is really beautiful. They're very really pigmented, a little bit more dustier than what I usually like. Not as not as melting in onto the eyes like I usually prefer. But they are very pigmented and they are very blendable. Very easy to play with them. And very beautiful colors. Mm. I love how this looks like. 
And now I'm going to go into this little shimmer and I'm going to add this one in the front part of the eye. I'm going to take it a little bit up here as well, under the brow bone. I really, really like how this looks like. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more of that darker shade over here to just kind of make sure it gives it a little bit more definition. Very pretty. Now the color that we want to play the most with is this one right here. So this one has some sparkle in there. It's some really interesting look, but it's not um, like, look at that. <laughs> that is so sparkly, but it's not glitter. And this one, it really melts onto your, onto your skin. So I really like that. So pretty. Look at that. I really like that. I'm going to take this brush again. And I'm not going to dip in there. But I'm just going to make sure I blend a little bit more on this side. And look at that. That is really, really nice. What do you think about this look? And I think it looks really great with this uh, blouse or this little top that I have on today. And I'm going to take that dark uh, brown color and I'm going to run that on the lower lash. You might be able to hear the rain from the outside. It is raining really bad here in Washington State. I thought we were out of the rainy season, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Summer has not yet officially started. Well, it started a few days ago and it was really nice, but all of a sudden we got some rain. So yeah, if you hear that, that's what it is. Okay, so this is really, really, really nice. Let me go add some mascara and I'll be right back to complete this review. All right, so I added a little bit of highlighter, mascara, and here's how it looks like. What do you think? I really like how this look turned out. Now for the product, I have to say I am very impressed. I am very impressed with the bronzer. The bronzer, it's absolutely delicious the way it looks and also the way it blends, the color. I think it's such a beautiful uh, color for medium skin tones. Just look at that. So, so, so pretty. The eyeshadow palette, it's very beautiful as well. It is nothing extraordinary, but what I do like from it, I like the mattes. The mattes are really, really nice. Very easy to blend and definitely a daytime look palette. This is nice to have with you when you travel because now we're open to travel again. Um, but not only that, this is like nice to have it in your purse, for example, if you do not have time to put some makeup on before you go to work, it's going to be so easy to just grab it from your purse when you go to the bathroom at work and just apply a little bit of this. Such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I really do enjoy it. And uh, for $16, I think this is totally worth it. The same with the bronzer, $20 for a gorgeous and also humongous pan uh, of bronzer I think it's absolutely insane and uh, really beautiful I totally uh, am intrigued by this brand and I want to try a few more things from them 
so let me know if you're interested of like something specific from them let me know down below so i know to grab it and review it for you before you buy it all right thank you so so much for being here today i cannot wait to see you all next time with another video don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up have a nice one